Hey, hey community, community. <laughs> we are one two comic talk if you're new to the channel in kindness we ask for a like and in politeness we request a comment and if you decide to subscribe hey uh, that is more than we could hope for so today we picked up we picked up a couple books from, uh, our, from our LCS our LCS yeah comic book shops uh, let's throw some shout outs to those comic book shops so okay so you went to comic bug yeah, well, some of the comic book shops I went to is I went to First Jeffries this morning, and um, big shout out to them. They hooked me up with the Batman '86 cardstock, and it was the last one that they had on the shelf that they went through all their stuff and found for me. Someone actually misplaced it, and they hooked me up, man. So that was really cool. Uh, and then after that, I went to to Comic Bug, and we'd like to thank Gerald for hooking us up with that one in ten incentive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hundred and one. Yeah, you know, without Gerald, I don't think I would have been able to get that because I know everyone was searching around and I was just hoping to get one. And I'm a big fan not only of Turtles, but the character. I know this is a character a throwback of, an, uh, of a long time. I'm not going to get into that, but what I'm saying is the first time it's a, uh, a character appearance on, on the cover. So I've been trying to get some of these 1 in 10 incentives and we haven't been able to get lucky enough to so. do so. Big shout out to you guys. Yeah, hey, thank you much. Um, so now I'll show off. Now I'll show off the haul that we all got. Right, let's show, let's <laughs> we got. We got to get into our haul. All right. So it's a modest poll, but we prefer our quality over quantity, don't we? Yeah, we do. And and we. This is our store folio. We tend to end up uh, putting all our stuff, and we always end up putting um, separate things into the store folios in accordance to our pulls. Uh, this is our, our one of our mini, like I said, three store folios. So this is just a few of the pulls that we end up throwing in there. And then one of the store folios we have is for our future signing event that we're going to do. So that will be talked about in another video. So here we have Dollhouse number three. We've been following this series pretty intently. You are and I am both a fan of this horror stuff that's been coming from the Black Label. Um, you're the one that... You know, I've picked out a couple things so far, as far as uh, Joker Smiles, or the Killer Smiles. You um, picked out a uh, basket full of heads and this one. I didn't get into basket full of heads until a little after you did, and I didn't get this into this one until, I want to say, almost a week ago. Now, Kai and I will end up read, uh, reading that and doing a review, and the way Kai and I like to do our reviews is we do not like to do spoilers. However, we are going to start a new um, format of when we do our reviews, we'll talk about the books that lead up to that, and we'll go ahead and obviously speak in a little more in depth about that that leads up to the book. We always encourage, go to your LCS, pick up the book, and uh, read it. But we will entice you enough to do so. So here we have uh, Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham, number one. I think this is the second variant, right? This is, if we read this there, yes, that is considered the B. So, and what I like about this cover personally is that I like the art style is cool. Obviously, I always love the different art styles and everything. Uh, you, we have Scream here over at the corner. And then Rhino. it has Rhino. I, I just think it's a cool cover. Like, Peter Porker. It's kind of cooler than I thought he was. Yeah, now if you're if you're reading this, you know that this came out actually last week. Also, you also realize that maybe you've had difficulty finding some of the variants, and if you've been able to find them, you more than likely had to pay for it. I was fortunate enough to find this one still a week later at the Comic Bug for cover. And so, I mean, like I, I'm I'm a big ham fan, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after reading it, you know, I'm I'm even you know even more so after I even read it twice. So, <clears throat> I am extremely happy to present this one. We have Silver Surfer Annihilation Scourge. That is also a cover B. This, yeah, and... We have the cover A. We do have the cover A, and I think we did read it, right? That, that's correct. That's the first appearance, again, of Surfer after we've seen him basically dissipate uh, at, and Surfer Black. And he gives himself up to to basically create the Marvel Universe. And as we've talked about this comic before, we definitely feel this comic went underappreciated because of how big it is. I agree. You for know, how major it is from Silver Surfer to come back. 
So uh, to let's go backwards and we'll go here. So as you may know, um, as we said in the as we said in our polls, we got well. The, uh, we we got this Batman eighty six. So starting over at Jeff Free Comics. Thank you again. This is the Batman eighty six. This is the cardstock version. This is considered, I believe, a cover B. Yes, it is. And we, I love this one. The it has a very realistic tone to it, it a, and it has Deathstroke stabbing the cover to the Batmobile. Is Matina? Is Matina right? This was the Matina cover you said you pulled from over at Jeffries. Over now at the Jeffries. interior art, which I, I, I'm asking you, the community, what you what you think of the interior art. I'm biased. Um, it's it's a gentleman named Danny Mickey, and I've been I've been you've been friends with him for a I've long been a time. fan of his art, Just regardless of the relationship that he and I we were buddies earlier in our in our life, and I I've, I loosely speak to him on online. Um, but my point really is is I've been a fan of his for such a long time, and I love his art, and and I've seen it evolve over all these years, and it's just I like I like what he does. He depth stuff. Just, it's awesome. If you've been reading this, you know, you, I don't have to tell you. He's been on this, I believe, for a while, and he's been playing with the Batman stuff for a long time, too. Now, also, we made mention about that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 101 cover, which is a one ten cent of variant. Now, I, I love this cover. I saw this cover about two months ago. I was debating on actually pre ordering it, but I really wanted to give the money to my LCS. Uh, I was fortunate enough to call him last night. He was able to track one down and have it available for me. Threw it in my box. Again, I can't shout out enough. Comic book uh, community, you know how it is to have a relationship with your LCS, and when they hook you up, you just you want you know you want to do flips. You want to tell the world. So that's what I'm doing. Is I'm telling the world. Comic bug hooked me up. Thanks, so definitely girl. check out comic bug. Now we have one last one. We do. This is the Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles variant. I'm not going to open it up because I, I love this thing too much. This thing is a gorgeous cover. So I tell you the camera. That's, uh, yeah, we've been see getting a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Power Rangers collaboration type stuff well, recently. I, and it's it's obviously, this is, this is a big influence to me. And the reason why is that, yes, I was... I grew up with a with a, a younger brother that was 16 years younger than me, and it was this was this perfect time, and watching him watch certain Power Ranger stuff and and Turtle stuff, and I was, yeah, we were digging it. So I I I I'm obviously getting you know nostalgic, and I'm buying childhood stuff. So cool thing is is Kai gets to share it with me. So that we have another cover coming to us uh, that we have on order Kai is going to read off some of the orders that we have not only coming next week for this week but next week so this week's stuff that we books that we ordered is here so we have star number one uh, what is that one about star is uh, a takeoff character from the Captain Marvel um, she basically gets one of the Infinity Stones, and she becomes a whole new character. They're pushing this character. I'm liking this character. I, I'm, I'm eager to see where this thing develops. Marvel, I believe, needs more diversity as far as what I'm getting at is main characters coming out there and, and, and doing something different. You know what I mean? I'm hoping Stars is not a Captain Marvel clonage thing. I'm, you know, I'm hoping for something fresh and new. Uh, we have Black Cat number eight. You've been following Black Cat very intently. Yeah, I, I am not a strictly cover by person. I like buying content, and I've been reading, buying this and reading this. So pretty soon you got to start reading this thing, <laughs> dude. It's cool. It's fun. And it's actually developing, right? By the time we get to, to um, issue 10, she's, she's doing something with Wolverine. I've already seen the cover for that. And, and things are finally building. I mean, it, it's kind of like a chili, man. They, there's been a lot of ingredients thrown in this thing, and it's really <laughs> been slow to percolate and develop. But as it's doing so, it's coming along really nicely. Hear that, everyone? Black Cat is chili. <laughs> uh, we got Ruins of Ravencroft, Carnage number one. That came out today. Uh, we have both uh, covers coming to us. I, I'm, I'm anxious and eager. I'm all kinds of, all about the symbiote. You know. It, 
kind of sick of almost probably hearing some of this stuff, and because of sickness, I think he's getting a little curious. So we'll see how that develops. Uh, Venom 22. <laughs> yep, more symbiote stuff. This more is part symbiote. two. This is part two of the Venom Island. So this is this is developing. Now, next week we'll be getting some <laughs> comics as well. We'll be getting Marvel Tales, Ravencroft number one. That's a one in five type deal. Uh, the whole Ravencroft revolves around the fact that Carnage came in during the absolute Carnage thing and just ripped apart Ravencroft um, in, in, in the story. You know, I, I, we'll just leave it at that and we'll move on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pretty Violent, number six. Now, this will be the final issue in the arc. To the series, that's correct. So, well, I, I'm curious to see where it develops it from here. I mean, if this is the final aspect of the arc, this is forcing me to go back and want to read all of it and go, okay, so what was the overall goal? Yeah. What was it trying to come back? And then when we start, what are we considering a start? You know what I mean? Versus where we considered a, an ending. So I, I'm right. curious. Um, now, again, keep in mind, this is just the ending of the arc. It's not the ending of the story. It'll it'll continue, but this is the final part of... We already have uh, um, a pretty violent number seven, I believe, on order. So we're good. We know <laughs> that's out there. Right. Uh, now, finally... Yeah, it's Ruins of Ravencroft, um, Sabretooth. So Sabretooth... So the whole ruins of Ravencroft and Marvel's Ravencroft are different in the sense that the ruins of Ravencroft is a three-part aspect that deals with Dracula, Sabretooth, and what did you say for Carnage? So those are all things that kind of influence that old Ravencroft and I believe in the whole series what we're doing is they're rebuilding Ravencroft and I think that in that rebuilding comes these other one-shot stories along with they're going to set up for something down the road, I'm sure. Now, our final poll for next week is Venom the End number one. Now, what's that about? Um, I'm not big in this whole the end stuff. There's like five other books that are in this, and I'm not, a, I'm, I'm just not curious about this. You know me, I'm the symbiote guy, so I end up obviously doing Getting the Venom. Different. Well, so in the Venom one, it, it's over a trillion years in the tale that's being told, and uh, not only am I curious about how they're telling this tale, but I'm throwing it out there to the community, and I'm not putting it as a quote-unquote spec thing, but I am a huge black cover fan, so when anything comes out in a black cover, I'm just, I have to have it. The black blanks, yep. So there's You're a, a black, uh, yeah, there's a black, Blank coming out for this Venom number one that I just I I'm I'm on the hunt you know what I mean I'm not willing to spend big money like most people because you and I modestly have to deal with life, but <laughs> on a monetary level but I I do pursue these things like this and this this looks sick it's it's already the just because it's Venom the end all that it's just dark and oh yeah. All right I think <laughs> that about wraps it up for us today. I agree. Uh, this has been 1-2. Comic Talk. See you later, community.